Have you ever looked at the RB67 and said, this camera looks like it's fun to carry around on vacation all week, capturing life's insignificant moments? Well, that obsession guided me as I created this beast of a rig for this week's video. Originally, I bought the RB67 for its incredible image quality, its leaf shutter, and its rotating back not its portability and ease of use. If you're familiar with the RB67, you know that most photographers use it on a tripod in the studio. However, for about $100, you can set up your RB67 with a battery operated flash to shoot up to 1 400th of a second, which is a lot faster than most modern cameras can do. The subject isolation and resolution gives you a lot of possibilities for playing around with this aesthetic, and I wanted to try it out this week. So I called the only person who is legally required to spend time with me, my wife, and we went down to the lake to shoot Portra 160. The first step was to shoot a natural light portrait as a baseline to compare against the flash shots. All right, and three, two, oh wait. Okay, that was a close one. And three, two, one. Cool. Nailed it. Now we're getting set up with the flash. So pretty straightforward, just one cable and all of a sudden it's adapted. So we walked around the lake. I had some poses that I had thought out previously. I had a couple of shots in mind, but I mostly wanted to test how the on flash light would play against the ambient light. You ready? Three, two, one. Did it flash? It did? Okay, cool. Awesome. The two main downsides outside of the weight and awkwardness of just using the RB67 handheld in general is that the camera will remain 100% in manual mode. So that means that you're gonna need a light meter like my Sekonic 508. And you'll need your subject or an assistant to give you exposure readings as you do test fires before each exposure. So hold that up. This is looking good. All right, I'm gonna fire the flash again and press it, press it. Four and a half. All right, and three, two, one. The goal was to simulate the type of shots you would take with a point and shoot camera out and about for the day or on vacation or something. Casual type photos, sort of insignificant, just the feeling of being in a place and capturing tiny little moments. More like, so you're going up with your arms, just go out. Like try to do this motion with your arms. There you go. Let's do it. Okay, so Tara and I have decided uh, two things. I'm having fun and she's cold and I'm cold too. It's very windy down here. This is the shot I've been waiting for the entire time we've been here. I've just been waiting for the light to get perfect, that after sunset light. We're gonna set up right here on this bridge. You can see all the way east through the valley. I'm really excited to make this image because I think we're gonna get some good colors. Why don't you cross your legs? And lean down, there you go. Hands in pockets, spread those legs wide a little bit and turn your body slightly. There you go. Three, two, one. Press it. What's it say? Five, three, six, three. All right. And three, two, one. Were you smiling? Were your eyes open? Were your eyes open? Composing at night is gonna be a challenge no matter what, so I don't really recommend doing a Blair Witch style photo shoot. This technique is gonna work best with some ambient light. Really close. So I had my subject slash wife illuminate her face with her cell phone in order to help me focus. Do it again. Three, two, one. Besides it being cold and windy, it was a lot of fun, and I think the results of the test were really cool. I actually really enjoy the aesthetic. So what's the verdict? Will I use this technique again? Well, I really enjoyed the look, and I enjoyed the process as well. However, I do find that the look is really heavily stylized, and it doesn't end up looking natural at all, in my opinion. 
So next, I'm gonna to try to play around with multiple flashes and modifiers off camera to try to get a more natural commercial look. However, if you have an RB67 and you've never played with flash, but you wanna get into it, I really recommend this technique. The investment is low, and you don't really have to worry about balancing the flash with the ambient light, because as long as your subject is exposed properly, you're gonna come out with a usable image, and it's going to be consistent with a point and shoot aesthetic. So it's really low stakes for just throwing a roll in your camera in this onboard flash and trying to get a couple of fun shots. Have you ever used a flash on your RB67? I definitely think you should if you haven't. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like. If you'd like to stay in touch with me, follow me on Instagram. If you'd like to see more work, check out my website, and I'll catch you next time.